welcome once again where we are learning and enjoying ourselves with these free educational tools designed for consumers of real estate together with professional real estate whether new or long in the field let's just enjoy ourselves and serve our clients to the best of our ability thank you right <clears throat> we took interpretation um now some important weight here weight important natural person shall also include legal person in other words in the offer to purchase um weights including a, a, a person a natural person will also include um trust uh, companies and then also uh, weights including gender which means female will also include male and vice versa and where people are married will also include the other spouse especially if they're married in community of property all right let's move on to the main topic of the day all right this is the main topic for today all right on the offer to purchase we have the sale so a sale is only a sale when a willing seller and a willing buyer agree on the terms and conditions of the contract willing seller and willing buyer should agree on the terms of the contract and they should both be aware of the terms and conditions of the contract and then the acceptance in other words the offer becomes binding initially it's, it's an offer to purchase but it only becomes binding once the seller and the buyer agree in black and white and then the but normally the purchaser will be the one who will make the offer and then the seller will accept the offer and that whole thing becomes binding and becomes it becomes a binding agreement now on the offer you normally have an acceptance date so in this case a seller will uh, the buyer will say i'm buying this property provided that in the next three days in the next one week in the next one month the seller accepts my offer so when he puts the date the seller must accept that offer within that specified date otherwise the offer to purchase becomes it automatically lapses and it is it shall be of no force or effect now in instances where the purchaser didn't stipulate when the seller has to accept the offer which it does happen though it is not recommended but it does happen sometimes especially on commercial properties you know the state they, they would not necessarily put but the whole agreement will become effective the minute immediately when the other party signs okay so it will say if however no irrevocable date is specified and then in such event the offer may be withdrawn by the purchaser by delivering such notice in writing to the seller in other words before the seller accepts the offer to purchase and the purchaser will send us okay i'm no longer interested in that offer okay or i don't want to i don't wish to continue with that offer whatever the case might be as long as the other party has not accepted the purchase price this is very important now the purchase price normally is payable as follows um there will be a deposit to be paid in the, to the conveyancer within seven days from date of acceptance this date can change someone can say within 21 days someone can say within 100 days but you need to this one we have it as a default condition okay that the purchaser will pay within seven days as i say if that needs to be changed you change it and you make it uh, suitable to the purchaser okay and then that deposit um, will be retained by the conveyancer for the benefit of the buyer remember the property is not the buyer's property until it registers so whatever the deposit that he pays the owner the seller cannot get hold of the deposit only until registration okay so in other words the purchaser shows that he's able he's willing and able and he does have a deposit all right now the balance this is also important the balance will be paid when against registration of the property in other words the buyer would if the buyer had cash he will pay everything okay um he will pay everything to the conveyancer okay and then the monies will only be released after registration okay and then if the buyer didn't have cash he had what we call a bond grant okay like here 
he has a bond grant, an acceptable bank or other financial situation current financial institution guarantees guarantee or guarantee in favor of the seller on terms and conditions reasonably acceptable to the seller to be delivered to the convincing attorney by no later than the guarantee period calculated with effect from the date of acceptance of this offer by the seller or the date of fulfillment of the suspensive condition whichever date occurs last and this is very simple it looks complicated but it's very simple and straightforward you give normally a buyer 21 days to raise bond he gets a bond grant from that day you give him another 30 days to 60 days for his bank to issue guarantees in other words paper money to the conveyances to say on the day the property registers we will pay you all the amount we have the amount for you it's in our hands it's in our kitty but only on the day of registration then we'll pay it to you that is a guarantee that means the bank is guaranteed that yes we have the money on behalf of the purchaser so where you don't stipulate a guarantee period the offer can continue and continue and continue for longer periods but the minute you put that you also put the pressure on the buyer with his bank to say okay guys as you said the money is there please you know deliver on your promise okay and then eventually and then this one will be if we're, we're, we're where there's a cash payment okay we do obviously we have been paid to the conveyances okay within that period okay and then only on registration then the conveyancer will release the necessary funds okay and this offer also is straightforward in the event where the seller is a vet vendor the purchase price excludes vets in other words if the property is a million and the pitch and uh, the seller is a vet vendor okay it's going to be a million excluding vet of hundred and forty thousand so it's very important that you qualify your seller and ask him are you a vet vendor or not okay thank you guys see you again next time